Hello everyone, I'm Monica. Today video is all about how to make a rolling dice having random outputs in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is basically an animation software but here we are exploring it. We are making games on PowerPoint. This video is gonna reference video for upcoming gaming videos. So let's start our tutorial of rolling dice. Now uh, in the new slide click on insert shapes and select a oval shape which is a circle actually that two columns and two rows select in that in that way now select a rectangle and here on the right you will uh, have an option the selected 0 0.01 centimeter which is seem to be a line Control C, Control V, and again overlap it. And there is an option to rotate. Just go for the more rotation option and uh, type here 32 degree rotation. Okay, after that, select that two rectangles, which is a line now and one circle select it like this and go to the format there's an option of merge shape and fragment and select our one and two triangles okay and there is an option right click and group it is a group now and cut it aside then what next we are going to do is the right click on our second circle and uh, just uh, the gradient fill and uh, i will change the 3d format i am giving it 20 point 20 points to everything and the color according to my choice and then insert text and i am going to write here dice the select it change the font and size as you want and the color now set the cut piece on the the dice button just copy and paste and set it there we want six pieces because we have six dice and just uh, select it copy paste in within 90 degree we have to set three uh, group and within 180 degree we have to set six groups like that just copy it paste it and set it there these are gonna representing our trigger point and we are going to give it animation afterwards okay this is done now delete the last one and now select the six dice of ours now we are ready to give animation select all the dices one by one control with the control key and plus click you can select all now the first animation we are going to give is uh, the entrance animation that is uh, appear and again control plus click all the six dices now the second animation we are going to give is spin again control plus click all the six dices the third animation we are going to give is the motion path i am giving giving here arc up you can select any motion path okay and again control plus click click and the fourth animation we are going to give is uh, fade here now in the control panel you can see the animations are there now the select the first picture picture 37 and just give the trigger and group the first group which is written here we don't have uh, to give the naming here now select the four second picture and give the second group that as a trigger point now select the third picture and trigger point the third group 
like you we have to do it for a uh, six of our dices for each group i am giving a trigger point of the group for each picture what is that picture the picture is our dice we don't have to rename it that's of having no use because we want the random output as our result that's why we are not renaming it now you have to select the first animation just select the first animation of all the groups like the all the pictures the first animation that is uh, appear we have given we have to select here click this animation should be done with click so we are going to select it start on click so whenever i am going to click any of the group the dice will appear now the second second two should be off with previous now i am going to select the four animation fourth one fourth animation of all the picture i am going to effect option timing after previous and delay of of one second after that i am going to select the dice for that i have six groups here and i am going to select all and giving the animation go to the animation tab click on add animation and spin here it is spinning perfectly now i don't want my oval or the dice to spin so i am going to remove it uh, the animation of oval and after that i am going to select all the group and i am going to click on the effect option timing duration very fast repeat until the end of the slide okay it's done it will spin until the end of the slide now select all the six groups right click format shape that line click on no line and uh, that on the fill column solid fill and give the transparency to 100% so see that groups are there but it is not visible because the transparency is 100% now overlap all the dice our rolling dice are almost done one more change i am going to do is the duration of spinning wheels i am going to change this to 2 seconds the reason behind this i find out is it is more working more efficiently while i decreases its speed i am going to show the trick behind how it is working for that as the line is visible i have changed the format again and again i play the slide show you will see how the formula will work now you can see all the groups are spinning and when we click the random output is coming we don't know we are on which spinning on which column we are going to click so the output is also a random number so this is the trick again just uh, select all the columns and click on no line now you stay tuned stay healthy will you see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much